Oh, welcome to the first episode of my PHP Let's Code series. Um, disclaimer, this isn't a tutorial video, nor is it a um, how to get started with PHP. It's just a development series where we'll start with um, nothing and hopefully build something interesting. Um, I haven't really got an idea for the sort of overall grand scheme of things. Um, I'm just going to start off pretty simple by building maybe a simple website which has a couple of pages, um, like a home page, about page, that sort of thing. Um, and what I've decided to start with is by using a very simple um, PHP router idea. Um, could use something like an MVC model, it's a bit overkill for what we're looking to achieve. Um, so I'll start with this simple sort of router idea and we'll expand upon it from there. Um, so basically a PHP router, if you've not come across this um, particular concept before, um, is basically just um, taking a user input from the requested um, address and changing that into a root. Now a root will basically be a um, piece of or a section of PHP code that will display or process the, the page it's been asked for. Um, so before you should get started on any sort of project, whether it's big or small, you should always do a bit of a, a mock-up or a sort of proof of concept page. Um, just to make sure you understand what you're looking to achieve, make sure it works, um, get a hold of what the core mechanic is, make sure that you understand um, what the end result will look like or um, sort of how it's going to interact with the, the actual code that you need to write. Um, so, so the router itself or this PHP router is pretty simple. Um, the router in this case um, is just going to be an array containing all our roots. So a root might be um, a piece of code that says display, just a simple piece of HTML that says home page. Um, so how we would emulate this in our sort of router here um, would be to create a home page root. So um, what we're going to use to basically allow blocks of PHP to be used is basically like an anonymous function or a closure. Um, so we're just going to create an anonymous function here. So basically when um, someone asks for the home page, we're just going to say shout home page. So if we just say home page. Cool. Um, and obviously this wouldn't be very complete without multiple pages. So we'll just do an about page function and close. Uh, and this again, we'll just uh, shout something out. So we'll just say a uh, page instead. Cool. So that's pretty much the basics. So we have a router, which has been um, represented here by an array. Um, and then we have our two pages or roots, um, which are just declared by using these anonymous functions to sort of give our content. So obviously, um, later on, we might be doing some processing in here where we might want to say, so if these ask for something in particular, we display this, otherwise we display if something else. Um, but just for now, this should do for a sort of proof of concept. Um, so after that, um, we kind of need to get the user's input. Um, for this mock-up, we'll just sort of statically say what the user's input is. So let's just say, for example, the user has asked for um, the home page. So um, we'll declare this variable, or we'll try, um, of home. Okay, so the user's asked for the home page. So we've done that here. So this should hopefully match up with this, which then hopefully should spit out this. So um, how could we do that? So we need to basically check if the root exists. So we could say if is set router URI. Oh, sorry, I realize I'm blocking that. Some of that with my, there we go, face. <laughs> so um, we'll basically say if it's set, then we basically just call this home function. So we'll just say router URI open close. So basically what this is going to do is going to call that function. Because we've used this open close brackets, it's going to call this function and sort of process this, um, this PHP, uh, PHP code. Um, so that, that fundamentally should work. Um, what we'll do is we'll just add an else on there, just in case these ask for something that doesn't um, exist in our router. We could just say um, sort of like a f um, like a 404 page. Um, so some static text you could say just basically um, this page wasn't found, um, go to the home page, etc. Um, 
I think that's pretty much it. That's, that's sort of proof of concept. We've got a router, routes, what the user's asked for, and some mechanic to find out well, to get the right route. And if they don't, we'll just spit out a message to say they've uh, been su unsuccessful. Um, so let's give it a shot. And uh, we'll just hit our cert. Yay, homepage. So that's what we said the user's asked for. Right here. And that's what we got on the page. We got this this particular shout here. Um, so just to make sure the router works, we'll change this content to about and try it again. Yay! So we <laughs> so we get the about page. Cool. Um, and now we need to sort of test to if this if statement works. So what happens if this this particular input the user asked for does is invalid? Um, so we just some gibberish there, I'll do. And try again. Found not. <laughs> I didn't realize I actually put found not there. Uh, not found. Not found. That's better. So basically, that would basically be our 404 page or our final found page, that sort of thing. So, simple enough. That sort of worked. Brilliant. <laughs> uh, it was pretty simple. So, um, back to our home page, and yeah, cool. Um, so obviously this is not really good for sort of practical use because we've sort of statically set what the home page is. We might as well just spout the HTML, it's, you know, as normal. Um, so how could we get the user's input? I mean, we could sort of um, find out what the user's asked for, um, but just for the time being, just to get it working, let's just use a query string parameter. So if we use um, page for instance if we set say if it's uh, is set get page then use the page query string parameter otherwise default to the home page so that means that if the user hasn't asked for something they'll get the home page which kind of makes sense um, and if they have asked for something then find that particular route if it exists and spit it out um, so let's try this so we put question mark page equals about we get the about page brilliant and obviously home page home oh i'll put a square bracket at the end so yeah that tests that works um so obviously if the page doesn't exist or they ask for something gibberish we get we get that not found message but if they ask for the home page we get the home page um pretty simple not too complicated that was uh quite quite easy quite simple um, just to make it a little bit more exciting, let's add some links between the two pages. So we do page equals about, uh, vi uh, visit about page, and the same here, let's do home, visit home page, and we'll do the same for our file not found page and go back to the home page. The home page, visit the about page, about page, visit the home page. Brilliant. Easy peasy. Uh, and obviously if we ask for the, the rubbish again, it's going to say visit the home page and that will bring up the home page. Um, it's a pretty simple concept, not nothing too complicated. It kind of works for our environment that we're looking to go with. Um, yeah. Uh, um, obviously we will be expanding on this in the future, but I think for there I'll just end episode one. And in episode two, we'll we'll build upon this mock-up, and once we've finalised our mock-up, we'll start actually building some classes and some um, ways of representing uh, representing this uh, sort of setup, something that we can actually use and expand upon later on. So um, thank you for joining me for episode one. If you liked, please leave a like rating. Um, if you really liked it, um, please subscribe, or you want to continue watching, subscribe on. Um, you can also follow us on Twitter. Just check out my um, Twitter handle in the description and thank you for watching hope you enjoyed and hopefully i'll see you in episode two